and welcome to my shop. I am Rob from Woodley Summercraft. This is part two of what hopefully will be two or three parts at the most of me trying to fix my Laguna lathe, the VFD fried. And uh, I've been looking into it. I bought another one to try to see if I could make that work. And I have since discovered a capacitor that blew on the lathe's VFD. So I've actually contacted a company called Digikey and uh, they, sh they shipped me out. I purchased four capacitors. This is the replacement capacitor for that one. It's exactly the same. It is 400 volts at 470 microfarads. The information is, is on there. So I, I did buy four, but having said that, I'm gonna show you the VFD because it's not as easy as it could be. Maybe to an electronics specialist, maybe with the right equipment, but to me it's not as simple as it could be, and I'll explain why. Okay, so here's the VFD. Now I just moved this, this comes off, not a problem. To get to the terminals on this, which have got the solder on, it's underneath. It's on the back side of this PCB board, which is back in here. Now this does come off, but to get it off you've got four screws, but also there's components there that would you would have to unsolder from the top to take that off. Now if I was an electronic specialist I would do that, but I think that that may create me more issues than what I already have, potentially. Um, so I'm going to actually just leave that there, leave that be, and hope that there is no other issues. Now there is some heat. I don't think that there's any issue there. Like it was, it's a different color, but I think that's just the resin that's on there. I thought maybe it was heat, but I think it's just the resin that's protecting that stuff. So there's another small capacitor here and here. They look good. And there's a four there. They look good. And there's a couple under there. They look good. I'm really really hoping it's just that one capacitor so what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach it from this angle right here and see if I can unsolder this and solder the new one in now the old one and the new one oh the new one is slightly taller that might be a problem Damn, I didn't I thought they were the same. Do you know what? It might not be a problem because this one having blown is currently the same height. So it might be okay. Anyway, the main important thing is that it's 400 volts. 470 microfarads. So let's get that done. I think I'm going to have to go off camera to do this because it's too difficult to hold the camera as well as as well as solder and everything else. And hopefully these pins line up. Anyway, let's see what I can do. I've got this cold heat soldering gun which I don't think I've ever used. And I'm going to give it a whirl. It's, it takes four AA batteries. I'm going to try it. My other soldering iron is over there, but uh, I don't have a lot of space to squeeze this in. And I think this tip just about makes it in there. So I'm definitely going to give it a whirl. So I'll come back to you if I get this capacitor out. Okay, so here's a quick update. I had to wedge this thing off. One of the pins snapped, the other one snapped in a different spot. Um, the solder doesn't want to melt for some reason, I don't understand why. And this is a quarter of an inch taller than the other one. Now I've decided what I'm going to do is wedge that in there and put a couple of wires, solder them onto here if I can, and solder them down to this. So hopefully that works. Not pretty, but if it works I'll be happy. Okay, I've got my son Connor with me and we've managed to get this black wire attached to the negative tab and this red wire attached to what there was of a positive tab. So now I can leave a little bit of coil and enough wire to 
latch onto these two terminals of the capacitor and leave the capacitor wedged in there like that just got to make sure this is the negative so the terminal on the top will be the negative terminal on the bottom will be the positive so I'm going to leave it in there like this so I can see which one's negative and bring the wires to those two terminals so we've got the wires hooked up, we've got the black on the negative, the red on the positive and then the same down here, the red is on the positive and the black is on the negative. What I'm going to do now is get the hot glue gun and we're going to just put some hot glue in there just so it stays in place because it certainly isn't the prettiest job in the world, definitely not, but I know that at least the cover will go on and once the cover will go on then I can hook it up and see if she's going to work or not and hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't blow up on me again well, I didn't see it blow up in the first place, it just, uh, I came down here and the circuit was uh, tripped and it wouldn't reset and it was a dead short and the dead short was this culprit, in fact I'm gonna get a meter now and test this and we'll prove that fact okay so I've got my old meter here, this is the capacitor and these leads can you see the light coming on and off? Hopefully you can see that coming on and off. That's continuity. Now I shouldn't read continuity. I should read microfarads with a um, with a capacitance measurement. But I have a dead short. The light is on by my little finger. That was the culprit. I've gone ahead and screwed the VFD base back onto the lathe and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue in a couple of spots just to make sure that this thing does not move so I've had this on and off a couple of times because I made a couple of little mistakes you cannot just terminate the wires this has to go on first and the screw that goes into that little plate there so the uh, pins line up perfectly and then it slides on and lines up great now the screws that go in here are very difficult to get in there. I used a little bit of tape around the screwdriver end and put the had the screw in there. That bit of tape got stuck in there and the other one, I lost it somewhere. It's not in here, but it's gone. I don't know where it went, but I'm okay with that because the VFD might blow up anyway. Um, I've got the brake hooked up down here and I've got the grounds on. Now I'm gonna do the motor and the line and then the control wires. And then I'm going to double check from my video, make sure I did it correctly before I plug it in. Well, I found the screw on the floor, and this is kind of how I try to secure them with a piece of tape around the head of the screw, and then try to line it up with the hole. It's in there yes it is pull that together nice and tight and the tape comes back out with the screwdriver hopefully the other one didn't so the top is now secure I've got four screws down the bottom here to do for the base and then the control wires to terminate okay now everything is terminated again in here the screws in the back are all in this plate is grounded with the screws that go into the the back of the unit so this is grounded that's important uh, the L1 L2 that goes up to the uh, the top board is terminated with the power coming from the cord and the three leads to the motor the brake the grounds and the control wires now what I'm gonna do before I put any power to this is go watch my video back that I released on YouTube just a few moments ago just to verify that I've got everything in place I believe I do but I just want to double check before I put power to this unit so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that up there she is hopefully good as new the heat from the heat sink comes out here so there is ventilation for it um, <clears throat> let's just hope it works I'm gonna well I'm gonna I'm gonna check my wiring 
through the video and then I'll be back and we will plug this baby in. We'll plug it in and then turn the circuit breaker on and see does it trip. But before we do that, I'm going to do a continuity check on the cord because that was our issue. We had a dead short between L1 and L2, so I'm hoping we no longer have that dead short. So where's my meter? I believe I've done everything I can to hopefully fix my Laguna lathe issue, replace that capacitor, follow the print that I had which shows everything, inspected everything. The only thing that I find now is that I tested the lathe L1, L2, still appears to have a short between them or a continuity I should say now so I, I'm kind of feeling like it's not gonna work is it possible there's something else wrong with the lathe that I didn't fix yes the other capacitors look good I didn't replace them I didn't test them everything's covered in a resin so it's very difficult to test individual components and ideally you want them out of the circuit to test capacitors so what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to, the circuit is turned off, I'm going to plug the lathe in and I'm going to turn the circuit on and see does it pop or does it, does it turn on? We'll find out shortly. Um, so right now I'm going to make sure the e-stop is pressed. E-stop is pressed. And I'm going to take the plug, drop it on the floor. and there it's too short to reach the wall I'll come back to you when it's plugged in okay the lathe is plugged into the wall as you can see right there I'm gonna leave the camera rolling and looking right at the VFD you can see the VFD is right here and I'm gonna turn the breaker on and see does it pop or does it stay on Well, it popped. The breaker still popped. So I have not fixed my Laguna lathe as I hoped I had. Um, I don't think anything else blew up. I just think that the dead short, there's still a dead short in there. So there is other issues. Could be the other capacitors. I, I don't know if I'm going to have another look at it or not. At this point, I'm just thinking I need to replace the VFD. And I'm probably going to end up spending $1,000. Thank you, Laguna, for that. Um, just disappointed and disheartened. And even if I do get the new L Laguna VFD, I still have to install it. Well, it was worth the effort for $8 to change that capacitor. What else could I do? I will be taking this VFD off and I will be looking at the capacitors. Maybe another one's blown now, but I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't fix it. I was really hoping I, that this would fix it, but it did not. Take care. Bye now.